Okay, well this is carrying on from my last video about Operation Witch Hunt, the player-led campaign against Salvation and Azimuth Biotech. And in my last video I talked about the possibility of getting them out of the five systems in the galaxy that they are currently operating in. Two of which are going to be impossible because they're native factions or the only faction in a permit locked area, T Tori and M Booney, respectively. But in T Tori, it is still possible to promote the other faction into a war with Azimuth and reduce their influence and get them down to 1%. So even where it's not possible to actually kick them out of a system, their influence can be reduced to 1%. They can lose any assets that they control. And it will be then about putting them down and keeping them down and keeping them damaged. But Marope and Maya, although I said it was possible to kick them out, that is not possible right at this moment because they have mega ships there. They have the Bright Sentinel in Maya and the Glorious Prospect in Marope. So while those mega ships are there, they stop Azimuth from being kicked out of the system completely. They can be forced into retreat. They can be forced into a permanent state of retreat with only 1% influence, but they can't actually be forced out of the system. They'll just stay in that retreat state, but they won't actually retreat. But that may be about to change on Thursday, because we have had messages today saying that all four of the mega ships will be jumping. So they will be leaving Marope, they will be leaving Maya. They'll be leaving all of the systems that they are currently in. And they will be jumping to HIP 22460. Now you can read into this and you can say that it looks like they'll be jumping there in preparation for some big event that could kick off on Thursday. So when they jump, it actually will then become possible to kick Azimuth out of Marope and out of Maya as well as out of Karato, which it's already possible to do. In Karato itself, they lost the war against the Blackbirds Concilium very quickly, and they lost the election in Marope, and so they lost influence there, but they lost the war in Karato, and because of that got kicked down, gained a tiny little bit of influence after that, but now they are in another pending war which will probably have started either when this video goes up or very soon afterwards against the nobleman of Karato and so our intention is to win four days in a row and make them lose that war as well and the process of kicking them down the ladder in Karato is going well all things being equal we should be able to win there, supporting the noblemen. Um, so for the next four days, that's what we will be doing. Of course, Thursday could come along and they could decide to interrupt or hand of God anything, but all we can do is try. All anyone can ever do is try. But all of the mega ships jumping to HIP makes me wonder if something big is going to be set up for Thursday. It's very unusual for all four of their mega ships to jump to the same place. So if you've been following any of my video series and you think, hang on, HIP 22460, that sounds familiar. Well, it is. It's where the Overlook is. Now remember that the Overlook was the Black Flight mega ship that got trashed by Thargoids, so what's the plan here? Are they going to patch it up and add it to the Azimuth fleet? Are they going to kick off some kind of major offensive? But they've obviously decided that having a presence in Maya and Marope is not as important as it was last week, and consolidating all of their mega ships in the same system as the Overlook has led to a lot of speculation about why they might be doing that with the most common theory being that they're going to patch up the overlook add it to their fleet and then they will have five mega ships with which they will do well we don't know we'll have to wait and see 
But it gives us the opportunity to kick them out of Maya and Marope, which hasn't been available to us until now, but should become available. The plan is still to win the current war in Karata, which is just about to start, to continue to reduce their influence in Maya and Marope, and to force them into a war with the other faction in the T-Tory system, make them lose and reduce their influence there, even though they're a native faction and they can't be kicked out, it should hurt them. Which is pretty much the aim of the game, to kick them out of any systems that we can, and to reduce their influence where we can't. So we'll have to see what happens. But the general feeling is that something big is being set up by FDEV. You don't just jump four mega ships into the same location. And the fact that they're jumping it into the same location as the wreckage of the Overlook has led people to think that possibly there could be a CG offered by Salvation to bring in materials to repair the Overlook with, which people will be able to join in if they want, or perhaps work against if they want, I don't know. It may just be a one-sided CG to bring in materials, or there may be an option to uh, stop that by perhaps bounty hunting or something. I don't know, we'll have to see. But yeah, FDEV are certainly moving on with the whole Azimuth Salvation story. How much of it they're doing as a response to Operation Witch Hunt, we have absolutely no idea. I don't know if they're pulling out the mega ships because they can see that we're rapidly reducing their influence in Maya and Marope, or whether it was something they were always planning to do anyway, and it was pre-scripted. But either way, interesting times ahead. Operation Witch Hunt continues. The war in Karato is the most immediate concern for us right now, and then see what kind of spanner in the works FDEV are setting up to throw at us with Salvation's next move. More as we know it.